It is March 29th, 2021, and I am here at the uh, North Bay Healthcare Clinic for a chemical stress test. So I did a actual stress test, like an actual physical stress test, and it didn't go so good. Um, they needed me to get up to about a 85 to 95 and because of everything that's happened to me so far like I haven't had a lot of physical activity so I got up to about 75 so I didn't make the requirement of what they needed and admittedly it was very disappointing you know but it's just one more disappointing thing amongst the litany of disappointing things that are happening and this is not me being like Mr. Dr. Depresso. That's real. You know, like this whole, this whole thing, this whole like kidney disease dialysis is just a series of setbacks. And I mentioned this to somebody that I'm tired of always constantly trying to find the good in like bad situations because I feel like I've been doing that. Not just like this, these three years, but like my entire life, you know, and I'm at a point where I just want things to go right. And I don't think that that's unreasonable. But what they're going to do here is they're going to chemically speed up my heart rate. Now, I've had this done before. Uh. One of the times I was admitted to the hospital, one of the various times I was admitted to the hospital, and I've had them do this to me before. And it's not a pleasant experience, especially when your heart rate is increasing and it's not you that's making it happen. So they're going to inject me with something via IV or maybe an injection, um, you know, into the vein. I'm not really sure what they're going to do but they're going to induce my heart rate to speed up. So that way they can test the chambers inside. Uh, and they're going to do a litany of other tests. So this test is going to take about three hours from what they said. It might take less, but they said about three hours. So as you can see here, I packed a lunch because they told me to. So I don't really know like what to expect here. Um, you know, the building, North Bay. So I'm not going to be able to record anything while I'm inside or record the procedure. I wish I could. You know, I wish that I could like get footage of all this stuff. So I'm just, you're just going to have to settle for me just explaining it to you before and then after my appointment is at 8 45 as you can see it's 8 33 right now so <clears throat> as i'm saying so i say so a lot as like a filler word so i gotta like make sure i stop doing that i'm gonna go inside and then we're gonna get this thing started The correct term for what I just had to do was called a nuclear stress test. So I went in at 845, as you saw, and as you can see now, it is noon. And uh, yeah, man, it took about three hours to complete. What they did was they injected me with something called a... Uh, a nuclear isotope, I believe is what they called it. Don't quote me on that. But what it did was it increased my heart rate. So I sit in the chair. They inject me intravenously in my hand. 
and it increases my heart rate. Then from there, they so they sort of chemically induce the heart rate to speed up. Then from there, they sit me on this chair that slowly rotates for about 10 minutes and I'm sort of uh, not sort of surrounded by cameras but there's these two cameras on me that are taking pictures as I'm slowly rotating around <clears throat> it takes about 10 minutes and they do it twice so they induce me they take pictures I sit for a little while eat some lunch then I come back into the room, and then they sit me down on the chair again, and then they rotate me again. And that's it. Three hours later, and we're done. Uh, for how my experience was, I've had a nuclear stress test done before, and I was laying down on a table, and the experience, the first time I did it, and this was years ago, was significantly much worse than this I think what really helped was I was sitting in a chair and they had me um, kicking my feet as if I was swimming in a swimming pool so that helped alleviate a lot of uh, the discomfort and it only lasts for about three minutes so they inject you with the stuff your heart rate goes up you feel like you've been jogging and it only lasts for three minutes. So the discomfort doesn't last for that long. So it is bearable. But you do feel it. You know, you start getting lightheaded. You know, uh, shortness of breath. You start breathing harder. But um, that was it. Nuclear stress test. So I got that finished. So from there, I, I believe they're going to send that information to the... Uh, I'm going to... I have a scheduled appointment. So they're going to tell me the results, and then based off of those results, based off of those results, they're going to, you know, possibly send that information to where it needs to go. You know, I think the transplant centers, so that way they can know that you know I don't have any heart conditions, that I don't have any heart problems. So if they put me under, they know I'll come back. So that's it. Nuclear stress test. Got another test done, and we'll see where we go from there. But before I go, I wanted to take this opportunity to sort of explain myself a little bit more as to why I'm not overly excited about kidney transplant. The reason why I'm not, and somebody brought this analogy up to me today, and it's apropos to exactly how I feel and it's like for three years I've been running this marathon right and when I finally finish running it's like I'm told that I have to run another marathon and they're not going to tell me when to stop but just to start running you know and I just I just I'm tired and I just want some wins if that's something that, you know, anybody can understand. 